In Moye Moye in particular, we uh, will typically obtain a cerebral angiogram before treatment is started. And because uh, we have a well-known center here and patients are rec recruited from really all over the world, uh, we patients will usually arrive with some form of imaging, typically an MR angiogram, an MR magnetic resonance angiogram, and we will obtain a catheter angiogram at the outset, both to look at the uh, blood vessels to the brain that are closing, as well as to look at the recruitment of these alternative pathways. We will then usually get a follow-up angiography at least for the first year or two following the procedures that are done, again, both to document whether there's been progression of the symptoms and to document the state of the fix. And so we selectively inject both the native blood vessels to the brain that are closing down and the external carotid branches, which are the branches that Dr. Scott and Dr. Smith use to repair the blood supply to the brain. And we're starting to do more selective injections into individual branches of the external carotid artery to look specifically at what elements of their fix have been most or least effective in an attempt to hone the, the technique even more. So really, in the setting of Moya Moya, angiography is used both to document the disease initially and then to very carefully try to document the progression of the ongoing uh, level of blood flow to the brain going forward.